So, do you find yourself tweaking the various graphics and controller settings in Content Manager? Hey Sim Racers, in this video I will show you how to use the presets feature in Content Manager like a pro to make your testing, tuning and sim racing experience in a set of Corsa a blast. By the way, I'm not just saying presets like a pro just because it sounds catchy. By the end of this video you'll realize you've been doing things the hard way. Welcome to Highness and this video is part of a new series where I show you how to get the most out of a set of Corsa with apps and mods like Content Manager, Custom Shaders Patch, Sol and more. In the last few videos of this series I showed you how to install Sol, also a beginner's guide to get dynamic weather working in a set of Corsa and how to enable raindrop effects and windshield wipers. Also, please check my pinned comments for any updates related to this video. What you'll need for this guide is to set aside about 30 minutes of time and an updated version of Content Manager. Okay, are you ready? Let's go! So as usual, I'll cover the why, what and how. I've got a couple of videos coming up where I'll share my optimal graphics and force feedback settings. Getting your head around presets will save you a lot of time and headache. I'm the type who loves tinkering around with the settings and configuration options, whether it be software or hardware. Most of the time I manage to get by with making slight improvements, but sometimes the worst can happen and Serta Corsa ends up being broken. Enter configuration presets. So what is a preset? In this context, a configuration preset lets you save all the various parameters that you've been tinkering with. The way I use presets is to save different versions of configuration. Example, a safe mode preset or an optimal graphics preset. More on this in a moment. I'll show you a couple of ways that I use the preset feature in Content Manager to make my sim racing experience really smooth. When I got my Oculus Rift back in 2018, I spent countless hours testing and optimizing my graphics settings in Content Manager, which has led me to create six different graphics settings presets. There are three presets for 3D Oculus Rift gameplay. We've got Oculus Medium settings, the high and the max. And then there are two presets for 2D non-Oculus Rift gameplay. So one is for a single screen maximum detail at 4K and the other is single screen maximum detail 1080p. I use the 2D presets when I want to record gameplay at high resolutions and frame rates. So here is an example of what I'm talking about. Notice how easy it is to switch between the two different presets. These different things change automatically as well. Controller presets are pretty amazing once you realize how to use them properly. I've got three different controller presets. One is called the F1 G25. The other is G25 GT Paddle Shift. Then there's a GT Sequential Shift. And then there's a streetcar paddle shift and then there's a streetcar stick shift. In the F1 G25 preset, I've mapped the curves and DRS to the two buttons on my Logitech wheel. I've also mapped brake balance and MGU management to the extra buttons on my shifter. In the GT paddle shift preset, I've mapped brake balance and turbo to the buttons on my shifter. I've also mapped traction control increase and decrease to my gear 3 and gear 4 on my stick shift. The sequential shift preset allows me to use the G25's H shifter in the sequential shift mode. And basically the streetcar preset I've mapped the horn. Yeah, there it is. There's the horn. And also the left and right turn indicators as well as the wipers. In the last video, I actually showed you how to map the wipers. If you think about it, why would I need turn indicators on an F1 setup or a GT setup? That doesn't make sense, right? But you can actually create custom presets for the different types of cars you wish to drive. In the drive window, I can specify which control preset I want to assign to each car. For example, let's go select the Holden ZB Commodore. So the ZB V8 supercar uses a GT sequential shift preset. Notice how it says here car specific controls. If I tick this, I can actually select automatically which, pre which controller preset I want to be active for this particular car when I hit the go to drive. Or another example is the McLaren 650S. 
So the McLaren 650ES GT uses the GT pedal shift preset. Then there's the Ferrari F40, which is a streetcar. So you've guessed it, I've assigned the streetcar stick shift controller preset for the Ferrari F40 because the Ferrari F40 does have a H pattern manual shift as well as left and right indicators and hazards. So let's go, let's talk about the how. How do we do all this? Follow these steps and create a new or an updated video preset. So in Content Manager, go to Settings, a setter courser video and then once you've uh, set up your own settings once you've defined and you picked all the different settings that you like click on the save preset button here and then give it a name so create a brand new name for this preset i'll go ahead and make an example And that's it. There you go. We've just created an example preset right there that contains all these settings in its memory. That's a video setting preset. Follow these steps to create a copy of an existing video preset. Same thing in Content Manager. Go to Settings, Asset of Corsa, Video. Select the preset that you want to make a copy of. So let's say, for example, I want to make a copy of this one right here. And then hit the Save Preset. It'll pop up and say, give it a name. So I'll just make an example here, say backup copy. And you can guess that this is very useful for creating a backup of a preset, just in case you go and tinker and things happen to go from bad to worse. You can always open your original preset and all your settings are right here. By default, your video setting presets are stored in your username, app data, local, AC tools, content manager, presets, video settings just hit the save preset and you've got the entire folder structure right there follow these steps to create a new or update a controller preset in content manager go to settings a setter courser controls and then make your necessary changes to your controller configuration so you can actually go to buttons up here and start to map all the various buttons to whichever uh, feature inside Content Manager. And then when you're happy with your selection, hit Save Preset and then give it a new name. And there you have it. You've just created your own preset and it's quite instant. You can straight away go to Drive and this preset is available to be assigned to any particular car of your choosing. There it is, my awesome preset. And by default, your controller settings presets are stored in your documents, Asset of Corsa, CFG, controllers, saved setups. Follow these steps to assign your controller preset to a specific car. In Content Manager, go to Drive, Single, Quick, Practice, select the car of your choice. I'll just go and select the V10 Plus. And as you can see here, this car doesn't have a car specific control. So I'll put a check in this checkbox, car specific controls. And I'll click on this drop down and select streetcar paddle shift. And that's it. I've now assigned the streetcar paddle shift controller preset to this car. And if you wanted to test it, just go to start from starting line, for example, and then hit go. And now let's do a different example. Let's choose an F1 car. Okay, here's a Formula One car. And I'll basically click on car specific controls and go to, to G25. And that's all there is to it. So here's a pro tip. Did you know? that you can share your presets with others. Here's an example of how I share my Oculus Rift Max graphics preset. In Content Manager, go to Settings, Asset of Corsa, Video, and select, and in this case, I'll select Oculus Rift, Oculus Max Soul. Click the Share Link button. Give the Share Link a name. If, you, if it asks you, is everything okay, just make sure everything is spelled correctly, etc., and then hit yes. And now all you have to do is just hit paste. What that'll do is it'll actually paste a link, and I'll give you, I'll show you an example of what that looks like. 
if I press Control V to paste the link, you can actually include that into a chat message. This is what it looks like. So straight away, it recognizes that this is a video settings preset. It's got the name of this preset, the author, and it's telling me content manager is asking me, would I like to apply this preset or just save it for later? So I'd say, let's save it only. And if I click that, it'll save it to my presets list. So I'll do that right now. And if I look at the list of presets, there it is. Highness Oculus Max, right there. All right, let's quickly recap the main points of this video. Presets are a great way to back up your configuration settings. You can apply different presets either automatically or with a click of a button. You can easily share your presets with others. That's all folks for this video. I've got a couple more videos that are coming up all around uh, how to optimize content manager the graphics and controller settings. And remember all the show notes and ways to contact me are in the description of this video. If you have any questions about what I've covered today, then ask me in the comments below, or you can reach me on YouTube and Discord. Thank you for your time and attention. See you next time.